What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be simply helping and walking my friend Anastasia through the importance of making sure that everything connects, right? Making sure that everything is integrated when it comes to a list, when it comes to your email sequence, and when it comes to landing pages. Um, in this case, what we're doing here is running local ads to capture listing leads, right? Giving away a seller guide, getting the attention of her local market out there in Washington um, and, and really trying to build that brand locally, right? But as people click on the landing page, they have to be put on a list. That's so, so important. Every lead that comes in needs to be on a list. And this is what I see time and time again. You know, as I mastermind with Anastasia and we talk about, you know, my experience consulting other real estate agents and seeing what they're doing, seeing what they're not doing when it comes to marketing. What I see time and time again, and, and not even just real estate, I see it time and time again with just business owners. You know, if you ask a business owner, do you have an email list of all your customers? Nine out of, nine out of 10 times, they'll say no. Like, and that's so, so important, you guys. When it, and especially now today with, with the cost of, of online advertising going up, Facebook ads, you know, price increasing, everything is, is it, inflation is real, right? Everything is increasing all over, all over, all over the, across the board. And so when it comes down to it, one thing you absolutely have to be doing is making sure that you're capturing the information of your lead, putting them on an actual list. So as the, because here's the, here's the deal. The reason why that's so important is because no matter what happens with advertising, no matter what happens with cost or no matter what happens with any platform, right? One thing you'll always, always own is your email list, right? That's so, so important. Even if Karcher went down, I can exclude the hundreds of emails that I have, the thousands of emails that I would have collected over the years. I can exclude all them, put them on a spreadsheet, and I own that Excel spreadsheet, for example, right? So your email list, that is where the gold is. You have to, have to, have to be building a list. So again, in this case, we're running ads, we're, we're driving them to a landing page, and once that person opts in, they have to land on a list, and they also need to land in a sequence, okay? Your sequence is your AKA email autoresponder, okay? So as these emails come in, they sit on a list, but it's the sequence, the email autoresponder that nurtures that lead from that point on, right? So it's right there in Kartra. We use Kartra for everything, landing pages, email autoresponders, um, my online course. So if any of you guys are into that, there's a 14-day trial in the description, profitwithkartra.online. Um, we run everything through this one software. So as these leads come in, nurturing the list is so, so important. And you don't want to be physically emailing people all the time, right? Especially if you're getting tons of emails coming in, tons of leads coming in, you can't physically email them at all. You have to have some type of email automation, some type of sequence in place where these, these leads are, are, are being communicated with on your behalf automatically. That's so, so important. So that's the sequence. So what we're going to do in today's video is I'm simply going to, going to walk her through how we connect it all. The moment someone opts into the, to a, to a landing page, we want them to make, we want to make sure that they're on a specific list and also in a sequence so they can start receiving emails um, automatically from that point on. Okay. So here's how we do it. It all comes down to, it all comes down to the actual form. So as, can you pull up your landing page, um, Anastasia? So pull up your landing page. Let's just take a look at that. Um, grab the link, pull it up in a new tab. And let's just look at that real quick. So as people come to a landing page, yeah, let's get the page link. Um, and then, and then they, they land there. They, they click the button, they enter their name and email. That's what we call a form. So, so the moment they click on that blue button, there's a form that pops up. So you have the landing page and then you have the actual form. So if you click on the blue button, you'll see the form that comes up. So what we, what we have to tell the system and the form is separate, right? You have the landing page and then you have the form, two different things. What we have to do in the form is let the system know that when a lead fills out this specific form, make sure they're on this specific list. Okay, so we're going to set that up right now. So let's go back to Kartra. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into, into my forms. So my forms, we'll see it there. Um, and it's going to be one of these, one of these, yeah, the, 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 the seller guide funnel one. We'll go in here, we'll click on edit. So we're going to tell the system, um, we're going to tell the form that when they opt in, make sure they go to the seller guide list. Okay, so we'll hit save and next. And then we'll go over to the next one, which is the confirmation 
Um, and I believe it's automation. So yeah, save it next. A little slow, sorry. Okay, there it's all good. And then right here, right here, we wanna make sure that, and then single single or, or double opt-in. A lot of times I get questions regarding that, you know, which one's better. When you're running ads, for sure, single. Single, single opt-in because you don't want that, you don't, you don't necessarily need that lead to, well, I mean, to tell you the truth, it's preference. It's really preference because do you know what the difference is, Anastasia, single and double? I don't, no. Okay, okay good. I'm glad I'm bringing this up then. The difference is that with single, single opt-in, a person can go to your landing page, opt-in, and they're automatically on your list, right? Automatically. They go to the list right away, automatically. A double opt-in is, is, is when that person opts in, and before they're on a list, they have to confirm an email. So it's double. It's, it's double. They opted in. Now they got to go back to their email, confirm that they actually want to be on this list. That's a, that's a double opt-in. And so there's a couple different funnels that I have. Like, in, in fact, if you look in my description here on this YouTube video, I have one landing page that, 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 that I use to capture leads when it comes to Facebook advertising, right? So a lot of my coaching clients come from, from that simple link in the description, FB ads, cheatsheet.com where I'm giving a free download, right? So just like you, Anastasia, you give away a, sell, a free seller guide. What I do is I give away a free Facebook ad or a free Facebook um, cheat sheet where I'm going over, I'm, I'm giving people a list of custom audiences and, and custom conversions. It's a simple, I think it's like a three page PDF that I put together and I use that to capture leads, right? So that's what's in the bottom of, of every YouTube video, fbadscheatsheet.com. But when someone goes to that page and they opt in, because I was getting a ton of people opting in with random ass emails and even people, you know, because there's a lot of weirdos out there. People will put the wrong email just, just to see your funnel. They'll put, they'll put just random information just to just to hack your funnel and, and, and try to learn from it or whatever. And that's cool. I don't, I don't, I don't knock any of that, but I need every lead that comes in to be to be a legitimate lead, right? So I actually have double opt-in on that one. That's one of my funnels. I have another one too, but it's really that one that, that I get a lot of engagement on. I get a lot of leads from, and I, and I, and I, and I have a double opt-in because anybody that's opt-in into that funnel, I want that lead to, to really want my shit, right? So I'm making them go the extra step to go to your email, go confirm that you really want to be on this damn list. And, 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 and you'll, and then, and then the system will email you email number one, which is in the sequence. And that's the link to my, to my download. Right. So just like with you in your sequence, email number one, hey, here's a link for your free seller guide. Right. So in my free in my in my first email of the sequence that triggers once that person confirms the double opt in, which is just a simple email. Right. So so it just depends on how 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 strong of a lead you want. When it comes to double opt in, you're going to get you're going to get fewer leads, but every lead is going to be a freaking a, a good one because that person, again, they want the extra step to confirm that they want your shit. Right. That's double opt in. So a lot of times when people run ads, they run it to single um, and, and you can just leave it at that for now. And then the success page is the thank you page. So line that up real quick. Um, site select site and go to no site in particular and then Carter page. Um, and then make sure, yeah, go down to the seller guide. Thank you. So the success page, we're just telling the form when someone opts in, make sure they land on the thank you page. And that's, that's the thank you page right there, the success page. So save it next. And then the welcome email is normally the first email that can go out the moment someone opts in, but we don't send it out here. We send it out through the sequence. So save it next. And so it's the automation right here. So this is what's not set up is, um, is you want to for sure assign a tag. We can do that, but it's the list. It's the list that's been off. Um, so we need to change that. We'll do a tag later, but let's just focus on the list right now. So yes, subscribe to list. So the moment they opt in, they need to go onto the seller guide list. Okay, so we'll add, we'll click on save. And then sequence, I don't connect the sequence here. I do it in the sequence. Um, as we go to the sequence, which I'll show you, it's the starting rule. So right at the top of the sequence, when we when we go in the starting rule, that's where I that's where I I I I I set it up where anyone who lands on this list make sure they receive email number one in the sequence. So I don't do it I don't do it here. Advanced automations you don't need that right now. Save a next and that's it. So that's what we're telling the form. Save a next. That's what we're telling the form. Whoever opts in, make sure they go to the list. Now the sequence. Click on my communications to the left. So. 
this is again when when you guys are, are running ads especially for well shit for anything really like if you're capturing leads to just capture leads to get appointments or to make a sell or 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 all the above getting that lead to a landing page and getting getting them to opt in and land on a list is one thing but the list it's just a list. There's no further communication that happens from a list. You have to, you have to make that. You have to, you have to force that future communication. And 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 here it's it's in the, it's the email automation. So not every list needs a sequence. Not every list has an email automation tied to it. Um, for for example, with me, when people schedule an appointment, they land on my appointment list right inside of Kartra. I have I have I have an appointment list. But that list isn't tied to a sequence because people that 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 um, that schedule an appointment, what they what they're going to get is they're going to get a they're going to get a booking confirmation email, and then they'll get an email reminder. But that's done to the calendar. I don't need any other future emails through a sequence going out to people on my appointment list. Now I can always the reason why I do put them on a list though. Is so I can know who's on that list, right? But then also I can always send a broadcast email. So I so so people that are on my list, what I do, for example, if they don't, if they're not a client or or anything like that, they're just still on on on, on my appointment list. Every now and then I'll send them a broadcast. And so now I, I know who's on that list. I can send a broadcast and it's very direct, right? So so as far as a sequence, I'll just send out broadcasts. I don't really, you don't need to tie every list to a sequence. But in this case, again, if you're shooting for appointments, if you're trying to make sales or, or anything like that, there needs to be a sequence. There needs to be future automated emails nurturing that list. And that's what this is right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on, on seller guide leads. We'll go down to that one. We'll hit the pencil. We'll go into the edit. And, and, and here in the sequence, it all starts with the starting role. So at the very, very top, we're going to let the system know who, and there's many options, but we, we can just easily go with list. So right here at the top starting role, let's just hit edit. So right here, you, um, in fact, you have it. So you already have it set up. So the only thing that wasn't set up was, um, was the, was the, was the list. You can take out sequence. You don't need that. One, and I think that's what threw it off. I think that's what threw it off. Yeah, that's what threw it off. So X out that one. So we just go off the list. List is fine. So so click on list. So we're telling the system here, anyone who subscribes to that list, automatically subscribe them to this sequence. Make sure, yeah, you can hit save. Make sure they receive the next email immediately. Okay. It's all based on the list. And again, how do they land on the list? They opt into the form. Right. So now now everything is connected. So if you hit done and exit, let's go ahead and, and, and test. We could test an email and, and I'll show you how to how to even track it all. But why don't we just why don't we just test the funnel? Let's test the funnel. So all these active leads zero, zero, zero. So we're starting out fresh. Let's um, go ahead and, and, and go to your um, go to your go to your go to your funnel. Let's go to your funnel. And let's simply opt in and let's let's opt in. Do you have a different email other other than the best? Best wall properties? Yeah, I do. Okay. So let's go to your landing page. Let's test it. And this is so important as well, you guys. You always want to test your funnels. You always want to test your email automation. Make sure that 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 lead is landing on a list. Make sure they're they're getting the proper email before you ever put it out there. You know, before you ever put money behind it and start running ads to it. Test your shit. So, so important. Okay. So that lead just opted in. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to check, and there's two ways to check it. You, you could check it here. You can click on My Communications, and you'll see um, that lead in, in My Communications. So there goes that lead, and boom, automatically it was, it was tied to the list, and automatically it was tied to the sequence. So that's so, so important, you guys. And now what you want to do, Anastasia, is check that email. Check that email. And here's, what, here's, here's two ways you could do it. You can obviously check that email. Go to Gmail. Check it to make sure you actually got it. Or you can click on the name. So go ahead and click on your name, Anastasia. And then you can go into log to see if it was actually sent out. So right here, and it takes maybe, 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 I don't know, maybe freaking 40 seconds. I know it's probably been seven seconds right now since you did it, but it takes more about 30 to 40 seconds. And then you'll see it right here. So in the log, I can see that the lead was, was um, subscribed to a list, which actually it says right there. Yeah, to the 29th. Yeah, so list subscription, boom, list subscription at the top, list subscription, seller guide leads, sequence subscription, seller guide leads, scroll up, 
So it tells you right there at the top, the recent activity, right? So, so now we know that. So if you click on profile, click on profile, and then now go back to log. And let's see if, if we see it there. Go back to log. Okay, yeah, take it, take a few more seconds. But in the log, we'll then see, we'll then see email sent. And, and it'll be that first email, which is the first one in the sequence. So I'll normally check it here or or open up the open up your email, see if you see if you got it over there. So that's what goes on, you guys. As someone lands on your landing page, right? Make sure they're on a list so you can always house that list, right? And always leverage that list in the future. And you can always broadcast. A broadcast is a one-off email. For those of you that may not know what a broadcast email is, that's a one-off email. You have your list, you have your sequence where automated emails are going out, and then you have a broadcast, which you can send out randomly you know, as you're, as you're just going about your day. And I tend to send out a broadcast, maybe, maybe actually I do do it. I do it. I do a broad, well, I, actually I do it. I do it many times a week, but on, 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 when it comes to one particular funnel of mine, I do it twice a week for sure. And I do it when I, when I put out a new YouTube video. So for those of you that are, that are subscribed, and if you haven't subscribed, man, subscribe to my channel. My name is David. This is Anastasia out here in Washington, but I've been building a social media agency and building my YouTube channel since 2017 and just really bringing value when it comes to clients, social media marketing and Facebook advertising. So if you're into that stuff, man, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. But, but when it comes to all this stuff, it's really, it's really the fact that these, 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 you, you can leverage that, that list. So when I'm dropping a new video every Monday and, and Thursday, right on my YouTube, that's when I'll send out a broadcast. So I'll send out a broadcast to, 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 to a, a couple different lists of mine, a few different lists of mine. Hey, hey guys, this is David. Just wanted to let you know, I just uploaded a new YouTube video. Click here to watch it now. And that's a broadcast email, right? So you have your broadcast email, you can send out randomly, and then you have your sequence. So you can see here by the lead. Um, in fact, I tested it there at the top, David. Now I'm on a list and now I'm on a sequence. So go to your sequence real quick, Anastasia. Let's look at that real quick. And, and when it comes to the sequence, you guys, you can set up. What I highly, highly encourage is setting up as many as you possibly can. Go ahead and edit. Let's go into it real quick. Because here's the deal. When it comes to, and I'll end it here. When it comes to nurturing a lead, right, you're, you're, you're running ads or maybe you're just like me, for example, with links in the description of a YouTube video and people are just opting into your shit, whatever it may be. When you're capturing leads, right, where I see people drop the ball time and time again is the fact that they never put that lead on a list. But then also, they never put it in a sequence. They never put it in, in any type of email automation. So they drop the ball by lacking the future communication of that lead. That lead needs to be communicated with. And again, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, you can't physically send these emails out through your Gmail. You don't want to do it that way. It has to be automated. So when it comes to the sequence, what I do is I literally delegate, let's just say an hour a week. Like I'll put aside an hour, actually not delegate, allocate. I'll allocate about an hour a week and I'll simply come into my sequence and I'll add three more. And the next week I'll do it again because I got a lot of shit going on just like all of you guys. We're all busy, right? But this is how important it is. When you put, put these sequences together, you want this shit to go on forever. At least I do. Like I don't ever want to start stop communicating with my lead. The only way that's going to stop is if you freaking die. If a person dies and, and no disrespect, but, but this is a reality. If you die, if a person dies or if they unsubscribe, that's when they'll stop receiving emails from me. But if, if neither of those two happen, you're going to continue hearing from me for the rest of your freaking life. That's how I look at it, right? Um, and so you can leverage that with automation, you guys. You can leverage that with the sequence. So a lot of times, again, you'll capture a lead and you'll stop communicating. If I were you, I'd add more. And, and, and Anastasia is a perfect example. She has so many freaking emails, so many emails that she has going out the moment you opt in. One, two, three, four, five. She has so many freaking emails already preset, ready to go out. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind when it comes to this type of automation is you want to make sure that these emails are evergreen, meaning they don't expire. They don't get old. The content in the email is relevant to today's time, no matter when the hell I'm opening that email. That's what's so important as well. Don't talk about, you know, current 
current times today. And that's in email number 37 when it's like, shit, that's a year later. And you're talking about what happened now talking history like that, that could bring value too, but don't, you know what I mean? Like, don't talk about something that just happened and, and, and you're trying to, you know, paint the picture when that wasn't, that was, that's old news. Right. So that's what you want to do with these emails is make sure that, that it's evergreen, make sure that, it, that, it, that, that the content is, 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 it, it seems up to date, up to date, no matter when that person opens the email. That's what's so, so important. And what we do here, what I practice and what I preach and what I teach is the fact that in these emails, you'll have a handful of emails that are pure content educational based, right? Where, where an email goes out and there's really no call to action, right? And you want to kind of strategically set this up this way, where let's say, for example, email number, email number one is just an, an immediate email that goes out. Just to say hello, here's your free download, enjoy it. Make sure you check for my future emails. I have a lot of great content coming your way. Great to connect with you, right? Simple hello, here's your freebie, whatever. And then maybe the next email is just, is just, is just a follow up and say hi and see how that person is doing. No real hardcore call to action. But then you also, the third email, call to action. The fourth email, just, just education. The fifth email, maybe just seeing how, 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 how they're doing. The sixth email, call to action. So you don't want a hardcore call to action in every email. I'll, I'll opt into some of these marketers. And, and these are freaking big marketers, right? Because I follow people just like you guys are following people. I'm learning from people just like you're learning from people. So I'm following certain people that are freaking way, way freaking ahead of me, right? I'll opt into some of their shit. And it's like, dude, every email they freaking send is about buying their shit. Every single email they send is about scheduling a call. Every email. And it's like, damn, dude, like, you're kind of bugging me. Like, swear to God, like, honest to God, truth. Shout out to, actually, I don't want to say his name, but this guy freaking crushes it, crushes it, crushes it, crushes it. And I learned a lot from him. But at the same time, I ended up unsubscribing from his freaking list because every freaking email was about scheduling a call. It's like, damn, bro, like really like you're a little too aggressive here, right? So you want to kind of balance it out. You guys is what I'm saying. Balance it out. Talk to the, and the, the way these emails are, 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 are set up is make sure that you, 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 you write them out as if you're writing to a friend. That's another thing. Like write them out in your personality, in your, in your verbiage. Like don't try to sugarcoat it. Don't try to be someone that you're not. Don't try to make it all corporate and shit. Like make it down to earth and, 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 and as if it's coming from you, because it really, it is, I mean, shit, it is coming from you, but make it also sound like it's coming from you. Right. That's what's so, so magical is the fact that people just, just think you're just emailing them. You know what I mean? It's, it's personal. And I'll, I'll tend to use their first name in, in a lot of the emails as well. I'll call them out by their first name. We all love hearing our first name. Um, but every, every, let's just say every, 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 every four emails, maybe go for that call to action, or maybe every three emails go for that call to action, whether it's a sell or whether it's an appointment or whether it's to get them to do something right. Educate, 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 call to action, educate, 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 call to action. You can either do it by three, or you can do it by, you can do it by two, you know, educate, educate, call to action. And that's why it brings me back to, to what Gary V would always talk about. Cause I started learning a lot of this shit back in 2016 with, from Gary V. He would always talk about jab, 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 hook, right? Jab, 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 hook, meaning you got to give, 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 and then ask for, for something in return. Give, 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 and then ask, right? So it's not always ask, 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 because then you'll piss people off and they'll unsubscribe from your shit. So that's the list, you guys. Make sure you're managing your list. Make sure you're, you're setting up your sequence. Make sure that sequence can go on forever and make sure you stay top of mind with your market and your, and your community. And I guarantee you, people will start liking you. They'll start trusting you. They'll want to do business with you and everyone will be happy. So you guys, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much again. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Over now.